Hey, what's shaking, baby? Welcome back. So as soon as you get approved into a CPA network, let's log in and check out some offers. We want to find a hot offer that we can promote. So let's go ahead and open up Firefox and then let's go over to Max Bounty. So I am now accepted into Max Bounty. All right. So as soon as you put in your email address and password, go ahead and click on login. All right. So as you can see, I just logged into Max Bounty and this is showing me my affiliate rep. So this is the dude that I'm working with here. He's my affiliate manager. I can hit him up on Skype, ask him questions. If I need help, he is my contact. And affiliate managers are really, really awesome awesome guys. I definitely recommend that you connect with them, get to know them. They can be very helpful. They know what offers are making lots of money. They know how to make lots of money because they're working with a lot of other guys that are crushing it on Max Bounty and, and making lots of money. So they got a lot of insight to tell you what works and what offers are great. So they're here to help you out. If you got any questions, hit them up. They are the dude, okay? So let's go up to the top to where it says search campaigns and let's just click on that. All right, so as soon as you go to search campaigns, you should see a screen like this. Now, if you're looking for a specific type of offer, you can just type in it as a keyword right here to try to pull it up. So I can do a search for something like weight loss, diet, or iPhone, or auto loan, or something like that, and just see what comes up. All right, so the next you got traffic type. So you see you got a lot of different options here. So if you just leave one of these boxes checked, like let's say you leave incentivized check, then what's going to happen is it's only going to show you offers that are approved for incentive traffic. And if you remember, incentive traffic is where you make the bribe. You basically say, hey, I'll give you this if you fill out this offer. You know, hey, I'll give you a free Justin Bieber CD if you sign up for this free game. Hey, I'll let you download these templates if you sign up for this offer. Now, again, there's most networks don't really like incentivized offer and there's a lot of, you know, and there's a lot of red tape around it because they want to make sure that you're doing things ethically, legally, and, uh, you know, just doing things the right way. But you can check to see what kind of incentivized offers they have here, okay? So another option what you can do is you can put a check in the social media box. And what this is going to do is this is going to show you the offers that are approved for sending social media traffic. Now, we're going to be talking about YouTube, right? I'm going to show you how to send lots of traffic from YouTube, and YouTube is social media. So you could definitely put a check mark in this to see which offers are approved for social media. That way, you know 100% that you can promote that offer through YouTube and there's not a problem with it, right? So yeah, you could definitely put a check mark in this to find which offers are approved for social media. Now, here's the thing. Now, you'll notice down here that there are some X's. Like, uh, let's say this offer right here at top, win an NBA jersey. Do you notice how this thing's got an X on social? right? It's telling you no social. Now, here's the deal. A lot of times they'll put an X for something like X social, but then if you read and find out more about the offer, you may find out that what they really mean is, is that no, we're against spamming people. You know, hey, don't go on forums and, you know, spam people on there or don't go on to Facebook and just spam your link all through Facebook, right? So just because there's an X for social, it does not mean that you cannot use any social traffic at all. In fact, if you read the terms and find out, you may find out that, you know, it is approved for some social. They just want to make sure that you don't spam them. Okay. And, and here's, the, here's the best policy is what you should always do is contact your affiliate manager. Remember, if you go back to the homepage here, we got our affiliate manager right here, Ryan Makwa. If you find an offer that you're really interested in, why not hit him up on Skype or, you know, send him an email and just ask him, you know, just say, hey, I'm really interested in promoting this offer. It says that it's not approved for social, but and then tell him about what you're trying to do. You can say, hey, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create really awesome, high quality videos on YouTube, giving away lots of value. And at the end, I just wanted to mention how they can, you know, get sign up for this, you know, so they can sign up for this CPA offer. 
if you tell them what you're doing, if you contact them first, I'm telling you a lot of offers that even have X's and they tell you no social, a lot of times you'll get the green light and you'll say, oh yeah, man, that, that's totally cool. No big deal. You can do it. Okay. So for that reason, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to rule out all the offers that have an X for social, because again, just cause it's got an X for social, it may mean that they just don't want you spamming people on Facebook. They don't want you, you know, posting the links all over the place on Twitter. But if you tell them that you're going to create high quality YouTube videos, you should be fine. But again, you definitely want to check with them to make sure that way you don't get in any trouble. Okay. So for traffic type, again, you can just put a check in the social media box to find offers that are 100% approved for social media, or you can just you know put a check in all of these to see all their offers and then just contact them to make sure it's okay with what you're doing, okay? Next, you got countries. Well, you know, you can go to, you know, a specific country to see what offers, you know, are available for Canada or United States. Now, now, because we're, we're doing YouTube, I mean, YouTube videos are going to come up for all different countries. You know, somebody who lives in Australia, they can go to YouTube and find our video. So we don't just want to limit it to one country, right? So for that reason, we're just going to do show all campaigns. Next, we've got category, right? So this is where you got all these different choices. So you got a lot of different categories here. And honestly, you guys, you can make money on YouTube promoting any of this stuff. You can, what I'm about to show you on YouTube and how to make money on YouTube, you can use this exact same method for any of these offers. You could use it for gaming offers. You can use it for dating offers, business opportunity, automotive, holiday, mobile apps, etc. So you can do it for any of these. It just really comes down to personal preference and what you're interested in doing. You know, but with that being said, um, if you're just getting started, I would recommend that you start off with email submits or free stuff, email submits or free stuff. So email submits are basically where you get somebody to just put in their email address, right? They put in their email address and then you can get paid like a dollar, two dollars or three dollars. Now, the cool thing about email submits and free stuff is that it's really, really easy to get people to sign up for it since all they got to do is put in an email address, right? Whereas some of these, like, you know, some things in health and fitness, you know, some of those offers may pay me a lot of money. Like they may pay me $30 or $40 to sign up, but there's a lot more steps involved. You know, it may be that I have to get them to put in their credit card to get a free trial or sign up to get, you know, $8 supplements or to get a, DVD for $9 or 30 bucks or something like that. So again, you know, you can make great money with that and you do get paid a lot more per sale, but there is more steps involved because you're going to have to get people to sign up for a lot more stuff. So honestly, guys, those things rock. And once you get started with YouTube, once you're doing this and you're making some money, then I would definitely recommend you start going for things like supplements and products where you get paid a lot more money per sale because that's how you can really step things up to the next level. But if you're just getting started, I'd recommend you go with the low hanging fruit. You know, so That way you can make money quicker, faster. Then once you start making some money, then feel free to go for some of these other offers. Okay. So all that to say, starting off, I would recommend you go with email submits or free stuff. Those are going to be really, really easy to get people to sign up for. They don't pay you as much, but it's going to be a lot easier and faster for you to make your first few sales. Okay. So now that we've gone to email submits, you can then go to subcategory, check out any of these subcategories if you want, or you can just click search campaigns to look at all of them. So let's just click search campaigns and let's see what comes up. All right, cool. So as you can see, we've got a lot of different offers down here. So let's talk about it. So first up on the left, you got the ID. So the campaign ID, pretty much, you know what this is for. If you're talking about this offer with your affiliate manager, you can give him the ID number and he'll be able to easily pick this up. You know, I can say, hey, I'm interested in promoting the NBA jersey offer. The ID for that is 8071. Uh, what can you tell me about it? Or, hey, can I do, can I create YouTube videos and promote this offer? The ID number is 8071, right? So that's pretty much 
much the, the you know the only time you'll use the ID number. Also, when you're creating your tracking link, it may have the specific ID number for this offer in it. But pretty much, you know, you don't really have to worry about the ID number. Next, you got campaign name. So this is telling you what the offer is. So this offer right here is win an NBA jersey. And if you look down here, you see this offer, Euro Millionaire System. And then on the right, you see where it says AU. So what that means is, is that this offer is probably only for Australian traffic, okay? And then same with down here, this one says NO. I'm guessing that's for Norway. And then down here, you got these other countries. Look, NLITCA. I'm guessing that's for Netherlands, Italy, and Canada, okay? So you definitely want to check to see what countries are allowed, Right. If I'm doing a YouTube video, I don't want to promote this offer that only wants Australian traffic because if people from America sign up for it, if people from the UK sign up for it, I'm not going to get paid money. I'm only going to make money if someone from Australia signs up to this. Right. So that's why you want to look for offers that accept a lot of different countries. Okay. So next on the right is the EPC, which means earnings per click, which is basically a formula they use to figure out, you know, how much the average person is worth that you send to that link. OK, now, honestly, you know, when it comes to CPA networks, this number doesn't really mean anything because you know, it, it doesn't mean anything because there's some really, really good offers out there that absolutely crush it and that may make you tons of money. But if there's some junky guy that, you know, there's some guy out there who signs up for it and spams it to death or who goes, to, you know, sends a bunch of bot traffic to his link, then it's going to pull down the EPC. OK, so what they do with the EPC is they basically take all the traffic that people have sent to this link and you know and they figure out how much money people have made and then they basically calculate how much the average click is worth right so but but here's the deal if somebody out there sends a bunch of fake traffic or bot traffic out there like if he sends 50,000 fake clicks to that link then all of a sudden that kills the EPC because nobody signed up for it on his uh, through his link, right? So that's why um, I don't even worry about the EPC because unfortunately with CPA networks, there are some garbage people out there sending junk traffic and that would really skew things, okay? So don't even worry about the EPC. Even if it says it's really low, it doesn't really mean anything. That You could make a lot more money uh, than what it says, okay? Next, CPA rate. This is telling you, you know, basically how much money you make per person that signs up for this offer. So for this win in NBA jersey, this thing is telling us that we can get paid $2 for everyone that signs up for it. Whereas this thing down here, do you see the job form? This thing is saying that we get paid $20 for everyone that signs up for this, right? Now looking at this, you might be saying, whoa, I would definitely rather promote that one. That way I make a lot more money, but not so fast, okay? Um, yeah, it's cool that we get paid $20 per person that signs up for this, but there's probably a lot more legwork involved. Like, let me show you. So let's open up the win in NBA jersey one, and let's also open up this job form one so we could compare. Now, let's look here. The win in NBA jersey one. So if you want to check out the page, which I'd highly recommend you do, go ahead and click this little link right here. It says preview landing page. So let's click it. And this is going to show you what the link, what the offer is. And again, what I would recommend that you do is go to the offer and check it out. And just ask yourself, would you sign up for this? Is this super enticing? Right? Is the headline really compelling? This thing says, get an NBA jersey. Okay, well, that sounds cool. And then you could even choose your favorite team. Well, you know, people who are interested in basketball, everyone wants to get a an, an NBA jersey, right? So this is hot. The background looks really good. It's got a big picture of what they can get, the jersey. So that looks really good. It's got a really strong headline here, get an NBA jersey. And and it's really easy to sign up, right? They can they can go here, pick the jersey they want. You know, they could pick their favorite team here. And then what they can do is they just have to put in their email address right? Which is easy. It's a big box. It's got a big continue button. And as soon as they put that in, then I believe we get paid money, right? So it's really, this is a really great offer by looking at it. It's got a strong headline. 
It's got a picture of what they can get. It's big. It's obvious. It's got a really cool background that matches what the offer is. And, you know, this is all above the fold, so they don't have to scroll down to be able to put their email address in. It's got a strong call to action, the continue button. And it looks good. So, yeah, this offer is great. So, now let's read the fine print here and let's look at it. Uh, so, first, you know, we, we can look. Aha, do you see this right here where it says converts on second page submit? You see that? So, what that means is, is that we're not going to get paid the $2 until people do the, they um, submit what's on the second page. Okay, so we don't get paid $2 until they c submit what's on the second page. So, if, let's go back to this thing and let's look. What is on the second page? Right? So, that means people have to go here. Let's just type in a demo email address. They have to click continue. And then they have to fill out all this stuff. They have to fill out their first name, last name, their full address here. And then they have to put in their phone number, their birth date, and click continue. And then once they fill out all this info and hit continue, then we get paid the $2. Now, that's a lot of steps, right? Do you see how that's a lot more steps involved and we only get paid $2? So for that reason, I wouldn't promote this offer. And that's why it's so important to read this. Because if you didn't notice that this thing says converts on second page submit and right down here it says two page submit. If you didn't notice that, then you would start promoting it and then you'd be wondering, hey, how come I'm not you know, making as much money as I thought on this one? Because there's a lot more steps involved, right? So really important. The next thing you want to do is you definitely want to read the restrictions here. Again, they'll show you over here the allowed traffic that, you know, that what they allow. But again, just because they put an X by something, it does not mean that all bets are off. Um, if there is an X on it, I recommend you contact the affiliate manager and ask him if, if it's approved for what you want to do. So we're not going to promote this offer because, you know, there's too many steps that's involved. So let's close.